Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a page using our website builder. So let's get started. So we can start off by adding a page, just by going to this Pages tab and clicking Add Page, just like that. Now you can choose to create a blank layout, or you can choose one of these pre-designed layouts which can give you some more inspiration. So I'm going to just choose to add a home page. These are the options that I have, and I think I like this one. So here, you can put in a title that you want your visitors to see for this page. And even though I already have a home page, I'll just create another one called Home Page. So I'll hit Done. So this is just to give you an idea of the type of page that you can create. And these are all elements here. So for example, this is a still image. This is a shape. Here is a title text and here is paragraph text element. So you can customize all of this or delete it, for example. If I wanted to delete the still image, I can just click on it once and then click this little garbage can here that says delete and then you can get rid of that. So now I can go ahead and add some more elements as well to customize it. So since I deleted that, I might want to add a carousel instead of just a still image. So to do that, you can click add and under image, I'm going to choose a carousel. So a carousel is basically a slideshow of various images, and you might want to add this to your site, for example, if you wanted to show off some goods or services, or you just wanted to add some variety to your site. And you can resize it just by clicking on the corner here, like that, and you can click on it and drag it to where you want it to go. So I might actually want to resize it even more, and just by clicking on it once, you can change this option here. Right now, it has a fixed ratio of resize, but if I just uncheck that box, and I can change the portions of it. So you can edit it either by double clicking on it or you can click on it once and hit to edit the carousel or edit the settings, etc. whatever floats your boat. So I'm just gonna hit edit carousel. So these are the images that are already in it and I'll just delete them. And I'm gonna add more images and I'll choose some for my stock images. But you can also upload your own images to add. And I think I'll turn this into an animal homepage. So I'm just going to use the keyword search tool and type in animal. So I have a lot of different ones to choose from. And I think I'll use this cute panda one. So I'll add that in there. And I might want to add another one. And I'll add this here. For each element, there are settings that you can customize depending on the element. So for example, for this one, I can give a title for each image. And I won't have a subtitle or a description, and I just hit done. So here's my carousel. You also have the option of adding apps. So there are a lot of different apps to choose from, so right now I'll just add a Facebook like button. And I'll move that around, and you can customize the way you see that one as well. So to edit text, it says right there, you can double click it to edit it. Now let's click on it twice. I'll write, I love animals. So our design team has specifically chosen particular fonts for each theme, but if you want to customize that, it's really simple. So you can just highlight the text, and here you can choose to change the fonts. Um, for example, I'll change it to the Cita. You can change it to size as well click off of it. So I'm just going to delete these titles because I don't need them. So now you'll notice that there's a gap here and I might want to get rid of that. And some, we have some tools that can help you rearrange your elements more easily. At the top you can choose to turn the grid on or off. And I'll talk some more about that later. Um, but you can also snap to grid and when it's blue that means that it's turned on. So snap to grid could help me, for example, line up, if I move this here, I can line up these other elements more easily. So everything is autosaved, so if you don't like a move that you've just done, you can undo it. So there are a lot of different options for each element that you might notice. For example, if I click on this here, you'll see this garbage can, which means to delete the element. You can also clone the element. For example, if I just click to clone it, I've got two of them. And all of these options here have to do with layers. For example, you can layer elements on top of each other. 
and this allows you to choose which ones you want to be on the front and which ones you want to be on the back. So if I move this text that I've just cloned and I put it over the carousel. Right now it's behind. If I want it to be in front of the carousel, I just click on it and I'll choose to bring it to front. Now it's in front of the carousel. You might also want to show an element on all pages. And this might be handy, for example, if you had a logo that you wanted displayed on all of the pages of your website. To do that, just click on it and you can hit show on all pages. You'll also notice that with this theme, the page is divided into a header section, a body section, and a footer section. And you can customize the size of it, making sure that this guideline is on. You can change the size of each section. Just click and drag. So one more thing I want to show you is how you can rearrange the order of your pages and create subpages. So in the pages section, just by clicking on this, you can click and drag to move it. So for example, I can turn this into a sub-page by clicking and dragging it like that. Or if I wanted the Contact Us page to be the last one on the menu, I can click it and drag it. So that's just a basic overview of how to use our website builder. So stay tuned for some more tutorials on how you can change the whole look of your site using our design options and more. So if you have any more questions in the meantime, feel free to contact us at website.com through live chat, through telephoning us, and through email. Thanks for watching.